guess if a, if a genie popped out of a bottle and asked me, you know, what other what other stuff I would like on on the tool, you know, there's uh, there's some really interesting options that uh, you know that, that these kinds of tools can come with that you know, we didn't we didn't get on this particular tool, but you know the the kinds of the kinds of experimentation that that I think a lot of people at the university level are doing now center about having the most intelligent tool design you can you know you can get essentially for your budget and uh, one of the things that that you know uh, tools like say the the Angstrom system and I, I know there's a there's a capability for this because I saw it in, on another deployment at a different tool in my, my previous uh, previous appointment uh, there's the possibility of essentially doing very very complex in situ type uh, designs of experiments where you can have multiple substrates or multiple specimens all basically experience the same deposition environment but through the intelligent use of, of shadow masks and load locks you can basically do a bunch of mini experiments in, in one run inside the chamber without actually breaking vacuum or bringing things out so if you need to do say a temperature sequence on the deposition of a certain film or if you need to do a, a, a uh, a thickness sequence or, or a multi-layer sequence on, on a series of different coupons or samples within this within the, the system there are you know shadow mask assemblies and, and specialized uh, you know feed throughs that that can allow you to basically knock out 20 specimens in a single run whereas you know another tool it might take you 20 runs to do the same the same work and you know that kind of rapid feedback and sort of you know being able to hone in on you know which part of the process tweak you know which which knobs can I turn to get the performance I'm looking for for my specific application? Those are all really useful, uh, you know, things to sort of look at. And I see that you know that Angstrom is paying attention to those kinds of things with uh, you know with some of the other kinds of add-ons, whether it's the you know like I said the the you know in situ you know mass transfer or the you know the uh, the the roll coder that you can you know put into the into the chamber, or even uh, you know some of the other you know kinds of deposition sources. Ours are mostly for the inorganics, but there's also you know organic deposition sources that you can put in a you know a 12 pack where you can deposit all all different kinds of materials or you know do dopant concentrations for things like OLEDs or, or, or whatnot. So there's a you know there's a lot of innovation to, to bring to bear on the sort of the, the ground level of research and, uh, and it'll, uh, it'll be fun to see how that evolves.